I have another candle review for you. I was thinking I would save this candle until um, January because Vanilla Snowflake to me is a scent that is very winter appropriate. Even though it's a coconut scent, it's very winter appropriate and I think it's also a great candle for February because it's a sweet scent. So it's good for Valentine's and all that kind of stuff. Even March, you know. <clears throat> Actually, I think this candle you could probably burn most of the year. But it is a comforting vanilla scent. Oh, and how rude did I? And just going on and on without saying, welcome to my channel. Thank you for coming by. Thank you for watching my reviews. And thank you for being a part of me being able to have fun on YouTube. Now, with that said, if you're subscribed, thank you for your subscription. Those of you who are active and like or dislike, I appreciate the um, communication. And so I'm just going to try to do my best for all of you and hope you want to be regular. In any event, this design on here is so pretty. It's got a midnight scene. You got a whole bunch of presents stacked on top of a taxi club like taxi cab like a tree they've got um some a wreath here on a imaginary door in the sky and then they've got some a cute tree farm here so it's just a cute winter scene of happiness when you go out to get your tree so much fun right <clears throat> that being said let us get into the notes of this candle i know it well this candle is mostly vanilla, then comes the coconut, and then it has a hint of mint in it. So it's such a wonderful, wonderful, unique vanilla scent. Mmm, delicious. Uh, it's not too strong. This is a great candle to get as a gift for someone. Nobody's going to be offended by it. They can burn it for whenever they want to. Nobody's going to say, oh, it smells like um, Christmas. They will say it smells like cookies. It smells like macarons. This is my macaroon candle. I tell you, it smells like a French macaroon shop. Just beautiful vanilla macaroon um, cookies. It's not too strong. If you've ever been into a, a store that sells macarons, it's not overwhelming of a smell like our uh, American cookie and bakery shops. It smells sweet, it smells pleasant, but not overwhelming. And they have captured that. They have captured that to a T in this candle. This is one of those candles, if you love it, every year you're like, oh my God, are they gonna bring vanilla snowflake out? Cause they wait until the very last minute. This candle came out um, just in time for Black Friday. And there's no fuss, no muss. They're not telling you anything extra. It's just out. And if you want it, here it is. They hit us with all of these vanilla candles at the last minute. And I love these vanilla candles. They are so much fun. They are so comforting. They are so warm, they are so inviting, but they don't, uh, they're guest friendly. So they're, they're something that if you have this burning in your house, people might think you're baking or they might think you baked earlier in the morning, not right now. They won't think the oven is on right now. I would highly recommend it as a choice for a gift. Now that I have explained to you the beauty of this candle, it is a simple coconut macaroon. It is a French macaroon. It is not an almond cookie. It is not a. Um, it is not an American coconut cookie that's full of toasted coconut. It is that French uh, mix of coconut and that mac macaroon that only they make, and it's just so good of a smell. It is delicious. It smells expensive. This would be fine in any house that you're wanting to upscale. It might even upscale my house beyond what it actually is. My house might smell like a mansion and look like a cabin, but it's all right. 
because if you're a baker, that could happen if you start baking some really expensive stuff, you know, fancy, fancy. Now, you may have already spied the burn. The flames are nice and strong. They have a nice, even burn. This candle wafts. It fills the space. Even though it fills the space, lightly and politely, it does fill the space. Um, but uh, as to the burn, as you can see, she is tunneling. And she is tunneling very well. I will put this into a, a sleeve and I'm sure that will correct it some, but she's been burning for a while and she is still tunneling, as you can see. Normally, I would have been burning this candle out by now, but I just wanted to show you that. I'm gonna put this candle into a sleeve and see if it will correct itself like that. I'll see what happens. And we'll be okay. Back. All is not lost. I've had it in here for just about 10 minutes. And as you can see, in the hurricane, the vanilla snowflake is starting to burn out into a nice flat pattern. So if you get the vanilla snowflake and you're giving it to somebody, you might need to give them a hurricane because otherwise this is a candle that would require tin foiling. But of course they're getting it as a gift. So if they get it as a gift um, and it just tunnels and they enjoy it, that's all good too, right? But as you can see, it is self-correcting now. We will check back. We will check back in a little bit, maybe within 30 more minutes and see if she's pulled out. But I'm confident now that the tunneling's got to this point that eventually this candle will give me that nice flat burn that I enjoy from Bath and Body Works candles so much. And it is one of my favorites. It's such a unique smell. It would work for any season in my opinion. You just have to put a sleeve on there so that, you know, like in this sleeve here, which is my hurricane, um, I've got a fall design on there. If I had a summer sleeve or a spring sleeve, I could use the same candle and it would be just fine. <laughs> it's not too strong, so it's not gonna blow you out in the summertime. You don't have to save it for the coldest day of the year. It's fine. And that is what she looks like thus far. So. I will check back in 30 minutes and see if the hurricane was enough to completely correct it. I, I'm, I'm pretty hopeful though. Let's see. All right, I put her in my hurricane. I've already given you, let you see a look at how it started burning out perfectly inside of a hurricane. I don't tinfoil. I got this hurricane and it works for me. Let me show you what the burn looks like now. Look at that. Check it out. Woo. So this one needed a little help. And now that I've gone through a whole day, this was my first burn on it. I am here to tell you, once I put this puppy in the hurricane, the throw, throw, this, the throw on this year's vanilla snowflake is amazing. Uh amazing when i was just burning it without the hurricane it was nice i was happy but now the throw on this is phenomenal in fact i will be blowing this out as soon as i finish here and my vanilla snowflake from now on will be burned in this hurricane because it amped up the smell so much it's burning perfectly it looks phenomenal in here Fall and winter, that's the same for me because I'm in Southern California and we don't really have a two seasons anyway. One season lasts 11 and a half months and then we have another season which is the rain slash winter season that lasts two weeks. So I'm enjoying this hurricane. It's beautiful to me and it, it 
invest in hurricane guys this candle is now strong enough to scent the whole house this is my vanilla snowflake candle i usually don't put them in a hurricane for this reviews but this one was tunneling so bad i knew i had to put it in there that hurricane oh thank you jesus it's wonderful it 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 morphed from a light uh french bakery macaroon to now this candle has gone full blown to an american toasted coconut cookie the vanilla is packing a huge punch i'm excited because maybe some of my other vanilla candles if i put them in a hurricane they will blow it out like this too it is wonderful the whole house smells like coconut uh sugar cookies coconut shortbread cookies now oh my goodness this is such a beautiful scent and that vanilla oh it's it's just whew. i'm glad i took the time to do all this for this review if this candle hadn't tumbled so bad i wouldn't have put it in the hurricane to see what happened and i don't think it's fair for me to do a review in a hurricane because if we're giving these candles to people as gifts they may not even understand the value of a hurricane they might throw that hurricane out as junk and then they'll be left with the candle as is so i wanted to give you a review of the candle as is but whoa when i put it in the hurricane this candle went from a a six to a nine and a half in fact this candle is a 10. she's a 10. vanilla snowflake is a 10. She's a 10, she's a 10, Vanilla Snowflake is a 10. Woo! So, I love this candle. I have it in um, the hand soap. And if I see the wallflower, I am picking it up. This is wonderful to me. And if I ever see the body care, I'm going to get that too. So that's my review. Merry Christmas, everybody. Jesus loves you. And I love you with all the Jesus in me. Be blessed for the holidays. Don't stress. You know, less is best. <laughs> Look at that burn in the hurricane. Oh, it's phenomenal. And once it burned out like this, the throw is amazing. The throw on this, it's filling the whole house. And the smell is so unique. People will associate this smell with me alone. People who come here for the holidays because nobody in my area makes macarons. We're not macaron making people. We're sweet potato pie making people. So this smell makes my home unique. And if I ever give this to somebody, they'll be like, oh, she's giving me. How God he's giving me. It smells like a Connie's house. <laughs> oh, but it's so beautiful. Just wanted to share that with you. So elated with this. All it needed was a hurricane. <laughs>